One day, Jesus went up on a hill to talk to God for a while. When he returned, he chose 12 of his friends and called them apostles. He split them up into groups of two and sent them on a journey. Don't take anything with you, he said. No money, no food, no extra clothes. Go into the cities and villages in Israel and tell the people everything I've taught you. Tell them that God's new kingdom is here. I give you the power to heal people from their sicknesses and to set them free from evil spirits. Stay with the people that welcome you in their towns. If a town does not want you, don't stay there, but move on to the next. And so the apostles did what Jesus had said. Everywhere they went, they healed the sick, cast out demons, and explained to the people what Jesus had taught them. When they returned to Jesus, they were thrilled and told him everything that had happened. Jesus was happy as well, and he said, These things are great, but the true reason you should be happy is that you have found God and will live forever with him because you have received eternal life through me. One day, Jesus was preaching to a lot of people. In the evening, he took a short break and talked to his friends, the disciples. He told them, the people need to eat something. I want you to give them food. They started to think, there are more than 5,000 men here, even without counting women and children. We could buy bread, but that would cost us a fortune. It would be better just to send them away. One of the disciples had found a boy that still had five small loaves of bread and two fish. That's all right, Jesus told them. He took the bread and the fish, thanked God for it, and told his disciples to spread it out to the people. And as they did this, they miraculously did not run out of food. Everybody ate and was satisfied. After that, the disciples collected 12 baskets filled with leftover bread. One day, Jesus was alone with his friends, who he called his disciples. Jesus asked them, What do people say about me? Who do they think I am? Some say you are John the Baptist. John was a man who called people to change their lives and return to God. As a sign of their new life, he baptized them with water, which is why he was called the Baptist. Some say that you are Elijah or Jeremiah or another prophet. Prophets were people who were able to listen to God in a special way and who told others what he said. Jesus asked Peter, Who do you believe I am? You are the Savior that God has promised to us for a long time, the Messiah. Jesus was impressed that Peter knew that. You did not know this because of your own understanding. God's Holy Spirit has revealed it to you. Jesus asked his disciples to keep this knowledge to themselves. Jesus told his followers not to tell anyone about him yet. He explained that he would suffer, be rejected by leaders, be killed, and rise on the third day. He said that to follow him, one must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow him. He noted that those who try to save their life will lose it, but those who give up their life for him will save it. Gaining the world is worthless if you lose yourself. He warned that those ashamed of him will be rejected when he returns. He also mentioned that some present would see the kingdom of God before they die. One day, Jesus took his friends Peter, James, and John up to the top of a mountain. After they arrived, Jesus' appearance began to change. His face became as bright as the sun, and even his clothes started to shine. In that moment, two very important people from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible, appeared next to Jesus, Moses and Elijah. They had lived many hundreds of years before Jesus, leading the Jewish people and teaching them about God. But now they were here, talking with Jesus. When Peter saw it, he was overwhelmed and said, Can we stay here? Moses, Elijah, let me build a shed for you to stay in. 
Before he was even finished talking, a thick fog appeared, and they couldn't see anything. But they heard a voice that said, This is my son, whom I love. Listen to what he tells you. Then the fog disappeared. Moses and Elijah were gone, and Jesus looked normal like he did before. One day, a man brought his son to the friends of Jesus, the disciples. The boy was occupied by an evil spirit that gave him seizures every once in a while. When he had them, he fell on the ground, was shaking, and had white foam coming out of his mouth. The disciples tried to command the spirit to leave, but when they were not successful, they called Jesus. Jesus was frustrated. You people of little faith, how long do I have to be here until you finally start trusting me? When he told the demon to leave, the boy was free at that very moment. A little later, the disciples asked Jesus why they were not able to cast the demon out. And Jesus replied, Because your faith is so small. If your faith was as big as a mustard seed, you could tell a mountain to move, and it would. Trust me, nothing will be impossible for you if you believe in me. As Jesus was about to go to heaven, he traveled to Jerusalem and sent messengers to prepare a Samaritan village. The villagers didn't welcome him, so James and John suggested calling fire from heaven to punish them. Jesus rebuked them and went to another village instead. Oftentimes, people would come to Jesus wanting to follow him. Jesus warned them. Foxes have caves to live in, and birds have nests. I, on the other hand, do not know where I will sleep tomorrow. Are you ready to live a life like that? Another man wanted to follow Jesus, but asked to bury his father first. Let the dead bury their dead, and follow me now, Jesus challenged him. A third man asked to go home to his family and say goodbye. Jesus replied, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Follow me now. Jesus challenged all of his friends, whom he called disciples, to leave everything behind in order to follow him, friends, family, their jobs, their homes, their money, and all of their possessions.